Now, one little secret trick as well that will make this a little bit better is selecting hair has always been a giant pain in Photoshop. But what if I told you that there was an easy way to select hair and you're able to do this in under two minutes? Well, there is. Let me go ahead and actually show you. We're gonna go ahead and grab the lasso tool and we're just gonna go ahead and make a nice dirty selection around our subject right here. Now that we have the selection made, we're gonna click on the selected mask button here up top. Come to the right hand side and make sure that you have object aware selected. Once you have that selected, come back up here to the top and click on select subject. Make sure to hit okay. Now you've noticed that Photoshop has selected our subject and that's actually done a pretty good job at doing this. Now we could click on this refine hair and let that kind of do its own thing, but notice that it kind of makes it a little bit rougher around the edges. Now, if you decide to go that route, you have this brush already automatically selected. You can just come in here and actually slowly clean it up. Be very, very careful because if you go too far out, you're gonna end up grabbing some of that background and you'll just have to remove it again or hit Control or Command Z. Now, one little secret trick as well that will make this a little bit better is if you come down here under the output settings, you might have to click that little arrow to bring down the drop down. Go ahead and click on this decontaminate colors. Now, hear me out, the top part does not look good but we can remove that. All you gotta do is hold Alt on your keyboard and just go ahead and grab that brush again and start brushing away to go ahead and get that removed. All right, once we're done, we're gonna go ahead and just click on OK. We've now removed our subject from the background and the hair also looks pretty damn good. We are gonna notice that it does need still a little bit more cleaning up. My recommendation here is to go ahead and use the mask that it has created. So grab your regular brush tool by hitting B on your keyboard make sure that you have the color black selected and just go ahead and brush to go ahead and get that removed. Now using the black will actually go ahead and keep that information there. So if you were to switch to white, we can bring that stuff back. So make sure to use black as your color to go ahead and clean it up a little bit. Now you've got a perfect cutout and hair selection. Now, if you did learn something today, make sure to go and leave a like, subscribe for more content. And as always, stay creative, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.